Explained by the Billy Meyer contacts, mysteries, myths, legends, conspiracy theories, historical inaccuracies, and more. Compiled by David Chance, revised October 18, 2023. Andreas von Recchi. Contact Report 443. On the 17th of February 2005, Ketzel and I talked privately about the conspiracy books of various scribblers, such as Zachariah Sitchin, David Icke, Jan van Holy, alias Jan van Helsing, as well as Andreas von Rechi and others. All in all, these kinds of nonsensical writings are commercially oriented to make the ruble roll, as you say, so that the scribblers, if I want to use your expression, can fill their pockets with money. The whole of all the conspiracy theories described in all the countless books are based on sheer nonsense, as are the writings in books containing supernaturalism and assertions about the alleged infiltration of earthly governments by extraterrestrials. Conspiracy theories of all kinds as well as supernatural, occult, and esoteric nonsense are in great demand among the believers in these drivel. In fact, all the many books of this kind are based on silliness, senselessness, folly, as well as blooming and higher nonsense, as you always say so aptly. If you will allow me to interrupt, I have a few other terms for the whole thing, such as noble baloney, bullshit, hooey, stupidity and folly, torchlight, ridiculousness, simple-mindedness, gibberish, folly and folly, etc. I would also like to say that, with regard to all this nonsense, there are special bookstores which, for good money, bring the rubbish books among the people, from whom the roaring rubbish is eaten like hot cakes. With very many people on earth the unreal, untrue, fantastic, occult, esoteric, religious, sectarian, supposedly supernatural and supernatural, is not only considered to be more than truth and reality, but effectively everything. These are all good terms I will remember and your explanation hits the truth. Furthermore, these humans are sectarian and esoteric, as well as occult and supernatural, and move in their thoughts and feelings, as well as in their delusional beliefs, in illusory worlds and other unreal imaginings. The entirety of this matter of faith and fantasies has developed into a delusion in them which already moves in schizophrenic forms whereby they no longer perceive the truth and reality, and consequently also can no longer recognize it. And in this delusional form they infiltrate the humans with their absurdities, which they imagine, and also adopt them from other scribblers which you call abkupfern. Copying? Uh, thereby the readers of the entire nonsense are seduced to believingly accept the lies, slanders, the swindle, and the fantasies of these irresponsible scribblers as truth, while they assess the reality and the real truth as unrealistic, unreal, and as untruth. Belief is just very much simpler than investigating the effective truth through one's own seeking and one's own cognitive work. Furthermore, the fantastic and illusory will sooner be accepted by the earth humans than even the truth and reality which appears banal compared to the fantastic and illusory. Therefore, it is so that standing on the firm ground of the facts, truth and reality is prescribed while the untruthful, fantastic, and illusory and all the swindling, lies, deceit and slander which is bound with it, which since time immemorial have always been booming business, affect the earth humans like sweet balm, which stills the delight and demand for that which is fantastic and illusory. So lying, swindle, falsehoods, deceit and slander are means through which the human allows himself to be very easily beguiled, because everything is only swallowed and does not have to truthfully be contemplated, while the search for the effective truth and its processing is bound with very much effort and cognitive work as well as with a sense for the recognition of reality. However, the irresponsible scribblers, 
who invent the crazy and unreal as well as unrealistic conspiracy theories, copy the entire nonsense from each other and throw everything to their believers as fodder, and therewith earn much money, know exactly that. That is also the case with the books of the hacks named by you, who, without conscience, spread their horrendous nonsense of their dim-witted conspiracy theories and thereby lead their faithful readers into error, convey to them a completely wrong picture of the world and hound them into angst and terror. Truthfully, from the complete contents there are no things at all to name which could be designated facts of truth, and reality because basically it deals with nothing other than freely invented fantasies and illusions, which are irresponsibly given a coating of truth in order to thereby take those earth humans into their power who believe the dim-witted nonsense and allow themselves to be taken prisoner by it. From the entire exposition of all books of such a kind, no letter may be considered as true, because everything is only built on deception, lies, deceit, slander, fantasies and illusions. Yet in every regard believers do not, as a rule, let themselves be impressed by the truth. Rather, they faithfully remain in the prison, which they themselves delusionally imagine because that is simpler than having to grapple with the real truth. The truth is just simply and somehow banal, as you tend to say, for which reason it only addresses humans who consciously use their reason and understanding, while the others, who depend on the fantastic and illusory as well as that which pertains to belief, are not willing to free themselves from the nonsensical and the unreal, as well as from their not making use of reason and understanding.